Pork farming is big business in Indiana, often a controversial one, but have you ever stopped to think just where the pork on your plate comes from? 24 Hour News 8's David Williams just got back from a local hog farm. David. $14 billion and 13,000 jobs. That's what this document and Indiana's pork producers say farmers contribute to the Hoosier economy, but the rules might be changing after a committee meeting this week about hog farming. Corn and soybean. Heather Hill and her family are pig experts. They own Hill Farms in Greenfield, where they've raised pigs for a few years. We feel very blessed to be able to do that and very lucky. They run a confined animal feeding operation, or CAFO, in very large temperature controlled rooms with feeding areas. And our family used to raise pigs outdoors, and that might sound great and grand, but we can't feed a lot of people like that. Hill tells me they have about 2,400 pigs here at their family farm. She also says she knows about the controversy. You know, we want to follow the rules. You know, we want to be good neighbors. Uh, you know, we care about this land. We care about our state. You know. Last month, Richard Hemsel told 24 Hour News 8 his home value plummeted because of the smell of the CAFO near his Danville home. He said it was so bad his wife can't spend nights there anymore. I'm just like everybody else. I worked hard to get, to get what I have. And now because of this, is taken away from me. Those little trees there. Hill says that's why they built corn fields and tree lines around here to help control the smell. We want to make sure that it's, um, you know, not a nuisance to our neighbors. And Manure goes under the building within concrete and is eventually put into the soil to grow corn to feed the pigs. We, we care very much about this environment. It is the same land that my children live on. It's the water that my children drink and the air that they breathe. This week, an agricultural committee is scheduled to meet at the state house and talk about CAFO rules and regulations. Hill says if the rules change, she wants to be sure. But there's been a lot of thought behind them and the sciences behind them, and it wasn't just an emotional decision that someone thought sounded good on paper because, you know, this is our livelihood. That meeting is scheduled for this Thursday at 10 a.m. In the newsroom, David Williams, 24 Hour News 8. All right.